psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Hi everyone, welcome to my live stream on Facebook. Thank you Facebook for joining me. Um, I don't go live on Facebook as often as I should, but thank you for being here. I think the last time I went live on Facebook was maybe a month and a half ago. So I'm trying to go live often, as often as I can on all my platforms, so thank you for being here. Um, make sure you follow me on my Twitch, my Instagram, and my TikTok, at Lamar Townsend Tarot. Make sure you also, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. The link will be in the, uh, I guess, the info section or the comment section, possibly, on Facebook to all my social medias. Um, also, if you're watching this on YouTube, because eventually I will post this on YouTube, follow me on Facebook or like my page on Facebook at Lamar Townsend Tarot. Make sure you also hit the bell next to the subscribe button when you subscribe to my YouTube channel. So you'll get all notifications every time I go live or upload a brand new video. Check out my second channel on Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O dot com slash Lamar Townsend Tarot to get exclusive access to content such as part two of a lot of my psychic readings um, that I don't post for the regular public to see. Lastly, if you would be interested in a personal reading from me, definitely check out my website, LamarTownsendTarot.com. All right. Um... So this is my website. You can go to the Schedule Now button to get a reading from me. Um, make sure you also check out my book on Amazon, Zodiac Sign, Sex Language, my podcast, and my music on iTunes. Follow me on Instagram while you're at it. But then you can also go to the store section directly on my website. And if you're viewing this on mobile, you would hit the menu button on my website. And go to the store section, and this is my store section where you can purchase your reading from me. I do astrology, psychic tarot readings, I also do natal chart, birth chart readings. And everything is priced from most expensive to least expensive. Alright. So, there we go. Um, and yeah, I make bracelets, I do candle work. So if you would be interested in a reading from me, definitely check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. So in this video, I will be talking about how to manifest true love. Now, so many people want to know how to manifest true love and want to know, you know, is there true love even out there for them? And the answer is absolutely yes. Um, but there's some things that need to take place most likely before true love can come in. So I want to do a quick psychic reading on how to manifest true love. And I thought this would be the perfect um live to do on facebook so once again this is a facebook live so make sure you follow me on my, my facebook at lamar townsend tarot and let's get right into the reading first of all let's go ahead and sage the energies and be mindful um i do have my window open behind you it's nice it's a nice fall day here in virginia i love fall season during like in virginia it's the best summer's Cool. It's not my favorite, favorite time. Although, kind of, it kind of is. But fall season in Virginia is, like, supreme. Love it. I just wish we could go into the cornfields and, you know, the haunted forests and stuff like that. That would make it that much more amazing. But, nonetheless. I can't see the comments, by the way. So, if there are people in the room, thank you for being here. Make sure you like the video. Share with your friends and family. 
and thank you for being here let's go ahead and cleanse the energies thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this space from any past readings thank you for opening up the channel so that i can see what um is needed how can we manifest true love no matter our gender no matter our race no matter our sexual preference or sexual orientation or identity in jesus name i pray and thank you thank you for being my mouthpiece thank you for surrounding me and protecting me with your loving kindness uh, protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting the energies, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. Amen, amen, and amen. So let's go ahead and cover that up and get into the reading. How can we manifest true love? By the way, get a bracelet from me, LamarTownsandTarot.com. This is actually a bracelet to help you manifest love. Currently out of stock. We'll be back in stock soon. These are evil eye bracelets, though. So, check them out. They help to calm you. They help to also protect you, of course, as well. All right, let's get into it. Immediately, I hear heal from your past. There's definitely a need to heal from your past in order to manifest true love. Um, heal the emotional wounds from your past. Heal the trauma from your past. Because there's something about... Oh my God, excuse me, it's the coffee, I swear. Um, this is live, by the way, all right? Um, there's something about, I feel... The density and heaviness of trauma and, you know, deep emotion and sadness and depression that just is not a match for true love, which there's something about true love that's very lightweight and very free. I just get like free flowing energy. Um, and I was, I did have, I think I would try to record this video yesterday and I got this analogy where, um, I'm just now remembering it where it's like. So imagine love as like concentrated energy, you know, like, but still free flowing, like the heart, like the heart itself. But the, you know, like what is inside the heart is just like a free, like true love is free flowing energy, but like toxic love, you know, or, you know, love that's not right for you could be like a heart or type of love where it's like, there's a line in the middle. Or, you know, it's like this side is my side, this side is your side, you know, or something like that. Or like, you know, like something like that. But true love is a, an, like a heart, but with free-flowing energy. And, but you are a free-flowing energy, density, body, entity, all within yourself. But you also have to think of it in, in such a the way as like, with that, comes this sense of are you in control of your energy like you know what it, what what does your energy bring is it dense is it heavy um is it filled with sadness depression or unresolved anger issues unresolved trauma from past relationships and stuff like that um there's a need for when it comes to true love to really heal that and be light in body light in spirit light in energy um otherwise there's something where i think you may we may manifest continue to manifest toxic love toxic relationships and it always comes in the form of like a lesson that we haven't learned or something we haven't healed from our past some trauma that we have not come to some sort of conclusion with but also it can stem from our perceptions of love or like what we saw in terms of love growing up, like examples of love. So there's sometimes a need to restructure that. Like maybe sometimes people grow up in toxic homes where there's abuse, you know, of all forms, you know, and maybe they grow up seeing that as love, but then at some point catch it and realize that's not really love. That's a toxic form of love, right? But once again, going back, that's like heavy energy. So even going back to our childhoods, which, once again, going back to the beginning of the reading, which there's a need to heal your past. Maybe there's heaviness even there. Maybe there's things even stemming from your childhood that you need to heal from that could be blocking you in regards to love, that could be...
issues. You know, it's almost like maybe you didn't receive the love that you needed to receive in the womb or once you got out the womb. Like, such as maybe some people are adopted, some people are orphans, some people have their parents, but they don't have an emotion, they never had an emotional connection to them. You know, like, that is a setup for what love kind of looks like for you or how you receive love, which puts me also to love language, like, you know, figuring out your love language. What is your love language? What do you, how are you used to receiving love? Is that a healthy way of receiving love? Also, versus how are you used to giving love? Is that a healthy way of giving love? Because for some people, for them, based on their past experiences, a healthy way of giving love in their eyes or a way of giving love in their eyes is through giving their body away. Like, you know, like being very sexual or something like that. But does that really get you the love you crave? Does that really get you true love? We've got to go back to our past and heal our past. Examples. So there's something about... I hear being an example of love, though. Like, there's a need to be... Be the love. Treat yourself the way you want to be treated, really. You know how it's always like treat others the way you want to be treated? That's really funny. Treat yourself the way you want to be treated. Focus on the the love you give to yourself or the lack of the lack of love that you give to yourself. Because the relationship you have with yourself as well is the precedence for the relationships you have with other people, meaning mm, If you think all your worth is your looks, then, you know, people are going to treat you as such. So when you try to assert that you are, you know, you're also very smart, you have an emotional depth to you, you know, people may be like, no, 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 it's all about your looks. Because that's what you put forward, that's what you put emphasis on. So there's a need to also be comfortable within yourself in order to attract true love, I feel like. All parts of yourself, not just the good or what you perceive as the good, you know, because you have pretty eyes or beautiful hair, you know, long hair or great skin or great physique, you know, or money. You know, these all things make you seem attractive on the surface, but also there's like, are you happy with yourself? Because that, someone who's happy with himself is attractive. Someone, are you happy in general? You know, because someone who's happy in general is also attractive versus someone who's unhappy. But, in the same sense, if someone is already unhappy within themselves, they, someone who's unhappy within themselves may find someone else who's unhappy within themselves attra attractive. Like attracts like in this case. But, you know, if you're unhappy with yourself and you're attracting other people who are unhappy with themselves, but at a point you realize you want more, which is you want to be happy with yourself and also attract a partner or friends or whatever who are also happy with themselves, then you gotta do the work. You gotta, um, you gotta look at your past. You gotta heal your past. You gotta work towards happiness. Figure out what happiness looks like for you. At what point did it break where you sort of accepted your current situation? Does that make sense? So there's, there's a need to go back to your past when it comes to attracting true love or manifesting true love. But then there's also, hi Amina. Oh, I guess I can see the comments. Thank you for being here, Amina. Or Anina, I'm sorry. Let me like your comment. Oh, that's kind of cool. I can also see how many people are in the room. Okay. But yeah, there's a need to also... Um, there's a need to heal from your past. 
But for some of you, like, there's already this sense of, like, true love's already here for you. Like, some of you, like, this is going to resonate differently for everyone, you know. For some people, they've already found their true love or what they believe to be their true love. Like, some of you are already in a relationship. But if you're in a relationship and you're wondering if it's true love, you've got to look at what is what is healthy love to you. What is true love to you? You know, figure out your love language. How do you like to receive receive love? For me, I like communication. I really value communication, consistency in that sense. You know, even if it's a good morning text, hey, good morning, you know, like, what are you up to? Like, that kind of thing. I like that. You know, I value that. I'm a Libra moon. But I also like closeness. I like attachment. That's my Venus and Scorpio, right? But not everyone's the same, you know? So... What do you value in love? Like, what do you value in true love? Is it money? Is it security? Is it um, feeling like someone's there for you? Is it just having someone to do things with, you know, have fun adventures with? Is it someone to, you know, lay in bed with at night, you know, have someone there? Is it someone to just share your life with? Is it someone to invest with and build with? Or is it all of the above? I mean, you know, it's different for everyone. What does true love look like, I feel like? And maybe that's something we're all learning as we go along. Um, but we've always got to go back to our past. Because that's our default. It's like, that's like, like our default setting. You know how there's like always a, a default setting? Our default setting when it comes to love and true love or true love is our past. So you've got to fine-tune those default settings. But default settings are most likely not going to find you true love. Remember, the default settings are your past, your, you know, your, your kind of instant um, gratification, your instant kind of, you know, um, impulses that you go towards without thinking. This just feels right. This is comfortable. But sometimes what's comfortable, what feels right, isn't necessarily good for you. Does that make sense? Or is it? So you've got to find also examples of what true love or good love looks like. For me, it's one of them for me is my grandparents who have been together pretty much all, all I've been born. You know, that's more, the one couple I know that's been together who I've never seen divorce, you know, of course they argue and, you know, do silly stuff. My grandfather's always, he, the one thing that always makes me laugh is sometimes he'll come in the, the, um, the apartment and be like, Lucy, I'm home. It's like so freaking funny, but it's so cute, you know? Um, so it's like, that's the one example for me, you know, is that, okay, like, this is what true love looks like, you know, long lasting, being there, having separate lives, you know, and allowing your partner to do their own thing. But like, so that's one of my examples. But if you don't have that, that's, it's going to be kind of hard to, unless you do some deep, you know, just diving in deep search, soul searching within, it's going to be hard to really pinpoint what that looks like for you, but it's possible. And also that helps with manifestation. When you kind of know what you want, you kind of know what you want to expect or what you want to manifest into your life. For me, it would be, you know, the example would be the relationship with my grandparents. And also my great-grandparents, too, actually. I just thought about that. Because <laughs> I had my great-grandparents around when I was little, too, so... I think those are great examples if you, ha you know, had, you know, have those types of relationships around you personally on a personal level. Um, otherwise, I mean, if you've always had, you know, relationships around you where there's divorce, there's arguments, there's fights, maybe to some degree, by default, that's what you're going to manifest. But you've got to level up, you've got to fine tune, and once you level up or challenge yourself to level up, because remember, like, sometimes, think of it as like a video game, which is probably the worst analogy, but stick with me. Sometimes with a video game or just in general with any like computer software when you set it to like an advanced level It takes you a little while to get used to the advanced, you know technology that comes with that advanced level It's like whoa, like this is moving a little bit faster. Like why is this happening over here? I'm not used to all this 
but eventually you get used to it. Sometimes we gotta challenge ourselves to just like be better, to advance ourselves. Especially when we get tired of the same thing. In regards to love, we keep manifesting the same thing. We keep, you know, getting the same results. Sometimes you're going to challenge yourself to be better in love. With, and it usually starts with self, like treating yourself better in, in regards to love, healing from your past, you know, not covering up the wounds, and then knowing what you want. Having, a, having an example of what true love looks like for you. Hi, Edward. After my last breakup two months ago, I'm trying to find my new normal. Exactly. That's the key. You've got to find your new normal. You've got to find what normal looks like to you. What does normal look like to you? Create your own life. You know, like, don't be so focused on love and finding love. Love will come when you're ready. Oh, that's also... I think I'm going to end on this note is divine timing is timing with love. You know, some people want to force it so much. I did a reading with a client earlier today, and I have a reading soon, actually, in a couple of hours with a client, another one, um, a birth chart reading. But this was a chair reading, and a client was so focused on, like, getting a certain outcome with, like, getting married. And I was just like, the cards were saying, and spirit was just kind of saying, you know, you're just going to have to go with the flow. Divine timing is best with the situation. You forcing it is going to push it away. Which is often the case in regards to love, dating, sex, and all of the above. Friendships, you know. Just let it happen naturally. You want it to happen that way, trust me. Alright. Lastly, okay, so I'm going to end also with this analogy. So the analogy I was getting yesterday, remember I was saying about, like, the heart? So think of yourself as, like, a dense free-flowing source of energy and then there's another person who is your divine life partner your true love partner over here who is another source of dense free-flowing energy once you start to truly heal from your past and do the things i've said in this video you know know what you want you know and um maybe challenge yourself to level up you start to call in your soulmate, especially when you know what you want. You start to call in your soulmate. The other person kind of gets to the same point at some point in their their life. And then the energy starts to like kind of like get closer and closer and closer to one another. And bam, you've met, right? So once you meet, the heart has not quite yet been formed. The heart meaning the conditions, you know, the commitment, the... Um, the structure of the relationship, the th that kind of thing, right? Like, but once the energies come together, it's like, you know, it starts to, over time, once you get to know one another and spend time with one another, you know, it's like the heart begins to form around that energy. And then the, eventually the heart does fully form. And then once the heart is fully formed, that is like a fully committed, you know, true love relationship, you know? There is no line in between the heart. There is no, you know, this is mine, this is yours over here. Like, there's none of that. The energy is just free-flowing, but now the energies are, like, intertwined, which is true love, right? Now this becomes this is us versus this was me, this was you. Now this is us, and now we have structure around us. We have commitment around us. We have some sort of bond around us. That no one else can intercept. You know, you know, this is us, this is y'all, this is you, you know. That's true love. But once again, energy is free flowing, it's light, it's not heavy, it's not dark, it's not, you know, sad, depressing. That's not true love. Alright. True love is laughing. True love is fun. True love can be crying, but it can be, you know, j joyous crying. You know, a release of a release of heavy energy and dark energy and stuff like that, right? Um, true love is your heart fluttering, you know, you getting butterflies and stuff like that. True, well, that sometimes is true love. Don't take, don't, don't run with that. But true love is also feeling support, feeling like someone has your back. You know, like, you know, if you've had a hard day at work, you know, you, at least you have your partner. True love is that, you know, it's lighthearted. It lifts you up, not weighs you down, all right? 
All right, I think I'm going to end there. Thank you all for being here. This was my live on Facebook. I hope I was able to help you all and give you all some clarity. Like I said, I'm going to go live a bit more on Facebook. So um, keep in touch. Bye, you all.